Well, good morning. And the Lincoln Police Department, Lancaster County Sheriff's Office, and University of Nebraska Lincoln Police Department are participating in a project sponsored by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. The collective is working to implement a program designed to reduce unrestrained fatalities and injuries in Lincoln and in Lancaster County. The national seatbelt use rate is estimated at 89.4%. Last week, observational surveys of seatbelt use were conducted near crash hotspots in Lincoln, Lancaster County, and the University of Nebraska. Seatbelt use in Lincoln and Lancaster County area was measured at 85.5%, 4.2 points below the national average. For the past six years, seatbelt use in Lancaster County has been below the national average. 8,997 accidents, 1,915 of those that were injury and seven lives lost investigated by the Lincoln Police Department in 2017. Policing agencies are a small part of the safety and security of our communities. The citizens have the opportunity to make the biggest impact. Through our media partners, we ask people to lock their cars in their homes, to keep valuables out of sight so thefts can be reduced. In advance of mass tragedy, we need friends, family members, and neighbors to trust their instincts. When they witness behaviors that lead them to believe something isn't right, call us and let us investigate. Campaigns and alternate forms of transportation have greatly reduced the number of drunk drivers on our roads. These actions make a difference and so can all of you. The simple act of putting on your seatbelt will greatly enhance your ability to survive and minimize injuries when accidents occur. And when you have this habit established, take it a step further and ho hold those in your car accountable. Make sure that they're buckling up. This campaign is uh, one that is very um, it's going to make a difference. We're measuring, we're, we're establishing a standard in advance, and then we're going to work with all of you to get this message out. We're going to use social media to keep reaffirming the positive situations and to remind people that they can make a, a difference in their own safety and security. And we're also going to partner with enhanced enforcement efforts at these hotspots using data to drive our decisions.